and cheat a little bit to the right. How's your feet look? Okay. Then pop lead one. leg out just a little bit. And come forward and right a little bit more there, Ryan. All right. And here, head and shoulders down and left. You're going to lift and just these hips are going to swing right here on this edge. Am I okay on the door or should I have my hand on my uh, hand The door on the... sometimes can move on you a little bit, okay? If you feel safe, but guys use abs. Guys also tuck it right here and get real tight up against that thigh. Okay? And I'll give you a little assist if need be. Okay, now just right over. Yes, sir. There you go. You've got to lean your head the other way more, though. Yeah. You do not like to do that. I feel, I feel like I'm going to get in my, like my hands in my way, but I guess there's enough room to get my hips in between. There. And the, yes. Yeah. Okay. So now you can start taking things apart, like this side guard you can take off and you can put it on the floor. If you, or you can put it in the seat, the passenger seat. And if you feel like you need a little more back support, right? You know, you can always move it forward. Yep. You know, you can kind of use that as a support. Kind of tucks you in there, doesn't it? Yep. I guess that wing. Gonna... Yes. Okay. And you can use the steering wheel as a purchase point too. <clears throat> as you're reaching for things. Is that kind of parts and pieces kind of keep on the chair yep. handy? Yep. Just for an exercise, Brian, slip that in the front of the passenger seat. Just to see if you know, I'm going for an exercise for reach, confidence, to know that you can get things that Everything organized, right? Yeah. So now, at this point in time, you're going to uh, have to undo your foot from there, and <clears throat> and then you're going to undo the brakes. the front end like this. There's a string right here. You lift up and it flips the back down. Perfect. Now we got wheels to work with. Okay. This is going to be Should more... I swing my feet around? I just feel like I'm not Square? Yeah, very stable. You can certainly do that. Yeah, because your feet, if they're not on the ground, gives you that. And the one thing I didn't check, Brian, you might want to check. Let me see where the control panel is. We're good. Yeah, it's all the way down and all the way back. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this gets to be sometimes the hardest part, Brian. So you're going to try to lift this up 
so that you can reach this brake, this wheel. And when you are reaching for the wheel, okay, and you're going to take it off, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to palm it. You have to get your hands and fingers in between the spokes a little bit, and then you got to use your thumb and pull it out, okay, like that. And pull it up to you, watching your skin as you do that. And if it gets tipped on its side, then we'll work through that. probably got to go in the front of that passenger seat or behind but I think that's a pretty good reach to go behind right there am I getting ahead of myself no you're, you're fine yeah, you're okay. as as right there mm -hmm. yep. yeah just being efficient with your strategy. There goes that paint job. <laughs> <laughs> that's flipping up and down yep I think yours is gonna lock in okay. place so it won't do that okay now just for a little edification you see how it's resting on the front of that frame right there mm hmm it's like right here so if you really don't want your frame to get marked up yeah you we might want to make a trip down to DME clinic and ask them to add front frame impact guards they're like okay. Velcro or they're neoprene sleeves that fit right here mm -hmm. so that when you get them on the ground like that, yep. the neoprene sleeve gets scratched up, but your paint doesn't. Gotcha. So now let's take this off. <clears throat> I think your wheelchair comes with that now, doesn't it, Brian? When I we ordered we, it, I thought we... Front frame impact cards? Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I we thought. Scripted, we had them add yeah. Oh, okay. I think okay, so. Okay, as long as we did. That's fine. Right. I mean, we could get it for this one so we don't scuff no. that up terribly. No, it's, it is what it is. Okay. You know, that's why we have these chairs to practice and yeah. work with. So now, Brian, we're going to set the frame down. You're doing really well. Okay. Okay. So we're going to get this frame, and you're going to have to get your legs in now into the car. Okay. So the frame... Go ahead, I'll help you during this part. So make sure when you bring this leg in, it goes underneath here. Okay. Make sure you don't scrape that. There you go. And extend the ankle out. And then you're going to come back and you're going to get this left one. Now ideally, this is where we want the chair. When you've taken the wheels off and you're ready to load. Okay? Okay. Now, in order to get it across your body and into the passenger seat, you're going you're gonna to recline. Well, you're going to lift this up but you're to here, and then you're going to recline all the way back to create space between steering wheel and chest. Oh. <clears throat> now, 
And if you feel like your, like if you feel like your legs are going to be banging up against the door, mm -hmm. so a lot of guys will extend the leg out a little further, if need be, or they'll hook ankles oh. to give you a little more pressure there, yeah. so that you don't get this knee, the knees coming banging up against parts of the car. Right. <clears throat> so I think that top one is the power button. Yeah, so you kind of start, you can bring the chair in partially. So now, when you bring it across your body, you got to turn it. This part's going across the chest like this, okay? So this is up against your chest. This is hard, Brian. <clears throat> this is not my favorite car for okay. loading because a lot of chairs get hung up in this small space right here. Gotcha. So we'll try it and we'll see how far we get. But I'm not going to ask you to get frustrated with it and try to work angles that aren't going to be good anyway. <clears throat> so you get it started, bring it on up. She's heavy and a little awkward there. Yes. Okay, so you're going to get it started. <clears throat> So let's let me help you out a little bit so you don't get hurt. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep. Okay, drop yourself down all the way. All the way. <clears throat> now you try to finagle it in. This is where it gets a little tight. You okay, Brian? Yep. Yeah, this is where I... It's a lot of gymnastics work in this car. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now, I'm going to take the power away. Let's suggest you don't have power. Now, I would say you get power, but <laughs> if you don't have power, okay, you're going to grab the steering wheel and pull yourself up okay. with the right hand, get to it. And you also have this handle, too. Oh, okay, pull up. And now, let's say it was just those manual lift, you, have, you flip the back up to you. Yeah. Now you got power. Bring it to you. So Unless you say you're manual, you, that's how you would get yourself up and then bring it back to you. And you put that little handle. Up. 